In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an easy pair of beaded flower earrings. I'm using 11 OC beads. I alternated these. One of these, two of these, one of these. So there's a bit more warmth for my skin tone. This is a yellow gold plated earring hook that I thought would complement the best. So for each earring, you'll be using six or seven bicone beads. So it'd be six each if you do not want to add one to your hook. And if you do want to add one to your hook, it will be seven bicone beads each. So for needles, I know these are quite common. So I think 10 is going to be a bit too big because we have to go through the small seed beads more than once and we don't want to come across any problems. So seed beads can break quite easily if you're trying to go through it and it's too difficult. So keep that in mind always. When you're working with seed beads, try to use a 12 size needle and then 11 is an in-between size, but I would really aim to use a 12. And I like my work very secure. So the more that I could go through my work um, and knot it in different places, the happier I am. For your thread, I would suggest wildfire, fire line, or monofilament. I think that these three will be the most stiff, so the earring has more shape. And I have threaded through my needle, my size 12 needle. So this is Wildfire size 0.15 mm in the color Frost, which is a very bright white. So to start, I'm going to pick up six of my bicones. I'm going to take them to the end of my thread. I'm going to leave about four inches and then knot twice. One, two, three. So now you can cut off your tail. And you should have this, it should be very secure. So now we still have our needle threaded on the other side. Back to one. Thirteen. have my 16. I'm going to drop them down my thread and I'm going to go through a bicone that I came out of. I'm going to go through it. And then I'm going, so I have 16. That means eight on one side, eight on the other side. So I want to put a tip in between. So if you see here, there's a tip at the end. So we thread that in after we create the petal. So I'm going to go up eight. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. One's going to be my tip color. I'm going to drop it down. And then I'm going to go through the next eight. Nine. 
we will go back to the spy cone. And then we will go up three beads and start creating our next petal. So the first petal we started out with 16 and the 17th was on the tip. So we need another 16, but because we've gone up three, we only need 13 and then 14 for the tip. I'm going to put 13 on my thread. So this was a first tip, so I've left off there. So I'm going to start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I'm going to go through the spy cone. And then back up eight to add my tip. Four. Eight. I've left off with this color. My tip, drop it down, and then go through the next eight. Four. So I've gone down the last four, and I will go through the next bicon. So now I'm going to go up three and because I'm on my final petal, I'm going to need only 10 seed beads. One, two, In. So now I will go down three of these and then do the same by cone. Up eight. Add my tip, go down eight. Now on your way down, if you wanted to start tying some knots, you can do that. So if we tie right here, now remember, if you're tying a knot between seed beads, it's going to be difficult to get your needle up back to them. So bear that in mind. So I'm going to tie it twice. Down three. So because this needle is one of the thinner sizes, it bends quite easy. So I'm going to Use my chain nose, bend it back and push shape. So I've come down and now what I want to do is use four beads for the ear hook. So 
I'm going to make this as simple as possible. We will go through a petal that has no knots and be mindful of how much thread you have left. You don't want to go to a really far away petal. Go up eight. Be careful when pulling, you don't want to pull too hard. And I've gone up three. And actually, instead of going up a total of eight, we're going to go up a total of nine because I want to go through the tip. My thread's getting shorter, so actually we're going to go through nine, including the tips. So I'm going to go through this tip and then put four 11 O's on my thread. So I came out of the tip in this direction, so I'm going to go back through the tip in the same direction and we're going to want to go through them one more time. If you've run out of thread and you've knotted everything, you can trim off your thread and instead of adding these extra four beads, I will show you what you can do if you've run out. So I went through all four and my tip. So now my thread's very short, so I'm going to do this by hand. Just knot it twice. I'm going to just have to trim it. So I've trimmed that. So what you could do is you could pull it through here and close it back up. Or what you could do is if you don't want to add the four beads here, you don't have enough thread, you can simply loop it through there, close it up. Or if your ear hook is thin enough, mine is not, but if you have a thinner ear hook, you can slip it through the seed bead. You want to be very careful. If it's resisting, do not force it because your seed bead will probably break. And then, I mean, you can always thread a new one in for the tip, but you're not going to get the hook back through if it didn't go through the first time. So that's another way. Or you can add a jump ring and then put your hook on that. Uh, if you add two jump rings, it'll be more dangly. It's all up to you. So I'm going to loop mine through here. Be very careful whilst closing your ear hook because you might snap one of your seed beads. And if you would like to add a bicone to your ear hook, you will need to stretch this out a bit. Loop it on. You can bend it back into shape. I hope you found this tutorial simple and I hope I've given you some great tips on what to do if something happens with your beads or thread, needles, and if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below, or if you have any suggestions for a new video please let me know.